Alright, today's video is going to be somewhat the same of what we had last time. It's again chip off, except this time um, we actually recorded the video of the chip off procedure itself and cleaning of the chip. Um, there's also additional difference of we're going to be imaging the chip using a, a VNR software, uh, which is very good at skipping any errors that might be on the chip itself. So here we are uh, slowly heating up the chip from the bottom and from the top. Um, this video is sped up because this process takes a few minutes. Um, this chip did have some epoxy around it which was cut out slowly with a very sharp exacto knife. And here um, I'm trying to see if the chip is moving yet. And uh, the moment I see it's starting to move, I have to work very quickly and it has to be lifted. The chip is going to be lifted here and uh, there it goes. And that's the chip right there, it's been lifted. The next step is to clean the chip. Now the chip has a lot of epoxy left on it still, and, and the pads might have a lot of solder on it. So we want to make the chip as smooth as possible and as clean as possible. So we can get a good read inside of the, uh, uh, the usual uh, adapter so we're going to use flux and a wick and a hot iron uh, so we're going to slowly clean it uh, this process takes some time and uh, once the chip is clean uh, you can see it now is getting a bit better all the epoxy is coming off you have to be very careful when cleaning these chips because uh, if you push too hard on the chip you can actually damage the traces and then the chip might not be recoverable Here's the chip before, uh, you can see all the epoxy and all the solder and uh, here's the chip after cleaning and it actually looks pretty good. So now we're going to move the chip over to the uh, adapter. Uh, this is a Roosevelt um, 12 by, uh, 16 by 12 adapter, uh, EMMC adapter, uh, just like in the previous case. Uh, so we have to align, there are two dots, one on the chip and one on the reader. Uh, just to align them and put them in, put the chip in, lock it in place and uh, the two dots, there's one here and one there. Alright, so now we're in the, the VNR software, we're going to start a new case, uh, we're going to add the EMMC element and then the next thing we're going to add is the uh, shadow copy. And um, we're just going to connect them together and then we get to select our uh, reader and start imaging. Now this imaging is sped up and once again I want to uh, be clear on this that the VNR is way better than using DD uh, Rescue or, or any other imaging software. The reason being is it can, it can skip errors very quickly. It doesn't have to stop and, and think and waste your time trying to read the chip. Uh, now that we have the image we can move over to uh, UFED. And here we are in UFED. We start a blank project. We select our phone. Uh, this is Samsung Galaxy S2. And uh, we select our binary image that we made earlier with the uh, VNR tool. And uh, we let it load. Once the loading is completed um, and the data is parsed into UFED, we can start the investigation. Um, we've done many of these projects where the phones came in completely damaged. We repair phones that were snapped in half various damages that's it for this video uh, if you want to see a video where we actually investigate a phone uh, please watch some of our other videos where we actually go through every single column um, the category of data and we show what we can recover thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content coming soon